What's up guys, it's Hammerdown48 coming at you today. We're going to go through another matchup of the Detroit Lions going into week 11. <laughs> coming off from a whew, embarrassing loss last week against the Bears. And we go in this game coming back home to play in Detroit against the Carolina Panthers. Now... On the spreadsheet in the matchup predictor, I was very surprised. I was very surprised. Because mm -hmm. the matchup predictor has the Carolina winning this game 59.1% to Detroit's 40.6%. I disagree on this. I disagree on this, and here's the reason why. This team is having problems. This team is having major problems. Okay? We're trying to fix these problems. They're not getting fixed. They're coming up with the same excuses every week. They're not fixing it. Okay? Plus, we're playing Carolina. Even though Carolina got blown out against Pittsburgh. I think we're going to have another hard time. I think this game, man, we had a tough loss last week and the following week. And I don't think it's going to get any better. I hate to say this, but I don't think this game, I don't see us winning this game. Absolutely not. The only way I see us winning this game is we come out of the gate, get the ball, we score first. That's the only way I think we're going to win this game. Because I'm telling you right now, guys, we are not improving. This team is not improving the mistakes that they're making. Can't stop the run, leaving guys wide open, like literally wide open, missed tackles. I say this every week. They're not getting fixed. This team is struggling. They need to fix these problems. It's not gonna be <laughs> it's not gonna be good. We're three and six. I'm not even gonna talk about the division right now because I don't feel like talking about the division. This game right here, okay? You guys, the Detroit Lions, coaches. Better step up to this fucking plate. You lose this game, Jim Bob Cooter. You lose this game, Jim Bob Cooter. Your ass needs to go. I don't know how many times people have been saying you need to go. But if you don't change this offense right now and play safer ball and better ball, you need to go. We need to attack. We need to a attack that defense of Carolina. My opinion, that Carolina defense is in. Okay. So I think we can get the offense clicking. But, like every week I said, we are going to have problems stopping the run. We're always going to have problems stopping the run. It happens all the time. Um, I mean, especially this guy. I, I, I've been watching this guy, um, McCaffrey. He's got 579 yards and four touchdowns. I'm not saying he's a phenomenal guy, but this guy, I think is going to be a problem for us come Sunday. I don't think we're going to be able to stop this guy. From what I've seen... Through week for from ten weeks already, what I've seen, we're not gonna be able to stop this run. Um, on the other side with Carry On Johnson, I like what they did last week with him. Um, they fed him more. Uh, they actually did a little bit different style at the end zone there at the go or at the goal line. Usually, uh, Blunt gets the go ahead 
on the goal line to score that touchdown, but they give it to Carry on Johnson. So that was a little bit mix up, but Carry on Johnson, um, my my opinion is the uh, heart of this team right now. What do you guys think? You think Carry on Johnson is the heart of this team right now? Because Stafford's not playing up to his limits and success. I don't think he's bringing this team to 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 the success that we need it. Uh, this defense definitely is not bringing in, bringing the heart of this team in. <laughs> These wide receivers are not bringing this heart to this team. So one guy that I have to pick to bring this to to my my opinion, a team captain of this team is Carry On Johnson. Is Carry On Johnson? If they use Carry On Johnson correctly, he will be phenomenal player for this team. At 103 carries, 550 yards, and two touchdowns. Okay. I think he's the heart of this team right now. Stafford's not playing to his ability. Defense is not playing to his ability. Offense is not uh, playing to its uh, ability. Fucking special teams is definitely not playing to its ability. We have a lot of problems. A lot of problems. That I think we're we're not going to fix. Um, another thing I want to talk about is protect, protecting Stafford. Jesus, God, how many times are we going to see Matthew Stafford get sacked? Because this line is playing like shit. Man, it's like last two games. Stafford's probably been stacked, sacked about 20 times in the last two games. Got to protect Stafford. Because if you don't protect Stafford, he's not going to be able to get it down the field. He's going to hold on to the ball longer, and there you have it. There's your sack. These wide receivers need to get open so Stafford can boot it down the field. Protect Stafford. Stafford's already got eight interceptions. He threw, he threw one last week. <clears throat> He's got 16 touchdowns. Now Cam Newton on the other side. He's got 17 touchdowns and five interceptions. I think we can get to Cam. That's the problem that we didn't do last week. Is we didn't get to Mitchell Trubisky. And I was very disappointed with that. Is if we're going to slow offense down, you need to get to the quarterback. You need to get to Cam Newton. If you don't get to Cam Newton, we are going to get blazing fire. Big time. These guys... Cam Newton's going to be throwing these balls in the air if we don't get to Cam Newton. I don't think Cam Newton's that great. But if Cam Newton can take take an ability and, and, and take a, a chance, I think he can roast us. <laughs> like I said, you got to get to Cam Newton. Put pressure on the quarterback. Because if you don't, Cam Newton's going to fire up. Um, on the receiving end, can get Kenny Galladay has also been, I guess, I guess you can say a heart to this team too a little bit, but not as much as Carryon Johnson. I mean, Kenny Galladay's got six hundred and one yards and four touchdowns. Um, just you guys got to get open. You got to get open, open, open. If you don't get open, it's not gonna be good of a game. <laughs> I'm telling you, we have to get open. You have to shut those wide receivers down on the defense when you're playing defense. So there's not really much really else to talk about. Um, hopefully Darius Slay plays this week. Um, right now it's only Tuesday. And on the injury report, Darius Slay is questionable. So is TJ Lang is questionable. TJ Lang didn't play last week and Darius Slay that was a uh, a heart stopping moment there too because we definitely needed those two guys and maybe it helped to have TJ Lane on that line to protect Stafford you know 
But definitely need Darius Slay on those corners. But like I said, there's not really much to really talk about this game is that my prediction for this game is I don't think we're going to win this game. We might bounce back. I got faith, but last two games, we have problems, major problems. And if we can't fix those problems, it's gonna you're going to keep plummeting and plummeting and plummeting to the ground. We have to get control of the game. Come out. Get that first possession. Get that first touchdown. Stay ahead of the game. How many times are we going to have to come back and play behind the game? Detroit is also... <laughs> they do this all the time. They love playing behind the game. And when most of the time when they love to play behind the game, they do better. <laughs> Why don't you come out of the game and show what you have at the beginning and then kind of slide up at the at the end? You know what I'm saying? Stop leaving. Stop leaving that to the end of the game. To where you have to try to come back and win this game. Come out firing. Get that first possession. Get that first touchdown. Stay ahead of the game. That's how you're going to win football games. Stay ahead of the game. Anyways. This is my prediction. We're playing the Carolina Panthers week 11 in Detroit. <sighs> Don't look good. Looks ugly. Supposedly on the uh, on the stats and spreadsheet, it looks better on spreadsheet and stats. But I disagree because this team's got a lot of problems. We need to fix something quick. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think down in the comments below? Hit me up in the comments below. Um, I'll try to read them. Try to get back to you guys. And um, you think we're gonna win this game, or you think we're gonna get blown out, just like the last two games? Hit me in the comments below. Hit that like sub button. Make sure you subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And uh, like I always say, I'll catch you later. I'm still with my team no matter what happens. One pride. We're in this together. <laughs> we are in this together no matter what happens. And hopefully this Sunday we turn something around. And if we don't, Welcome to be a welcome to a Lions fan because this is what we're gonna get and this is what we get every year. So thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you later and go Lions.